Night is short. You just won your uh, game against Zaporinov in a very odd manner. What happened? Well, uh, yeah, it was a fairly short game. Um, it was my quickest, quickest game so far. So um, I came to the board and I opened uh, 1e4. My opponent was not there. Um, he arrived uh, after a few minutes, uh, sat down. I was standing up at the, the, the time. Uh, he uh, sat down and quickly played c5. I came back to the board immediately because I was nearby. And uh, I stood there offering my hand to him. And he was very pointedly looking down sort of at his score sheet somehow down out of the way. So I'm standing there for quite some time with my hand. It's very clear that uh, he didn't want to shake my hands. But just uh, for clarity, I sat down at the board, waited uh, for some time uh, until I caught his eye. Then um, I put my hand across. Uh, and he sort of shrugged or, you know, just uh, indicated he wasn't going to shake hands. He refused to shake hands. Yeah, he refused to shake hands. And so um, I then informed the arbiters, one of whom had seen the situation, and uh, I claimed a win. Because uh, recently there has been uh, published a new rule on the Peter website? That's correct. Yeah, that it's. Uh, what does uh, it the, mean? The, well, the, the rules states that uh, if you refuse to shake hands, uh, this is punishable with an immediate forfeit. It it's says already it, in the official rules. Yeah, it's a presidential board decision, and it's on uh, behaviour. And I think it appeared in June of of last year. And the arbiters were aware of this? Because no. 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 What happened? Well, in my experience, uh, I mean, maybe I'm completely biased here, that uh, there are only about 25% of arbiters actually know their job properly. But uh, <laughs> it's a difficult, um, uh, it's, it is a difficult thing to do because uh, the uh, regulations are not um, updated. Uh, the FIDE website is not updated as it should be. Um, so uh, I then informed them it was on the, the FIDE website. The other players, um, um, you know, they were very well aware of it. I mean, it, it had been up there at the top of the FIDE website for, for days. So, uh, uh, you know, the players were well aware of it, that this thing existed. And uh, uh, anyway, they had duly located the presidential board decision, and, 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 that's, and that's it. Okay. So I guess this is the first time this, this rule is actually uh, applied right now. Yes, that's so. correct. It's, uh, yeah. OK, so what do you think history, will be? History making. History making. <laughs> what, will, what will be the, the consequences right now? What do you think uh, will I think happen? I think people will think very carefully about making calculated insults like this. And it was very deliberate, very clearly a calculated insult on his part. So, I mean, personally, Did you say something, uh, no, I mean, personally, I, ha I have no disagreement uh, with Ceparinov. Um, in fact, I, bear you know, barely conversed with him. I never played him before, but uh, so what could he be the is he well. He is, of course, uh, part of the uh, denial of Topalov camp, and. Uh, they were uh, unhappy with uh, some remarks I made on the um, on the Kramnik uh, Topalov match. So, it is a, in my opinion, if you're looking for an answer to that, you will have to ask Chiparinov himself for his motive. It was a collective decision by the Bulgarian camp. Okay. Thank you.